Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to explore fascinating feature of Spring Data JPA called Query by Example or in short form we can say QBE. Have you ever think of about creating database queries without writing complex SQL or JPQL? Well, query based query by example is here to make your life easier. With query by example, you can build dynamic and type shape queries simply by providing an example entity. It's like a magic. You can give it a sample of what you are looking for and Spring Data JPA does the rest of the things. This feature is actually all about to simplicity, readability and the flexibility. It's perfect for those times when we want to find records based on partial matches, ignore cert if we want to ignore certain fields or even adapt queries on the fly. So now we need to create a Spring Boot project where we need to create any project like maybe it's a Maven project or the Gradle project based on your need. So I'm using, I'm here, I'm going to use this Maven project. So for that we need to choose the project type as Maven, then language will be Java and the Spring Boot version will be 3.3.5. This is the latest stable version. Here section in the metadata section we need to choose the group, then artifact name, JPA query by example and then here we can update the packaging name and here if you see we need to add some dependencies dev tools is not needed but the spring web data jp and the s2 database why this web is needed because here we are going to create some kind of the rest apis so that's why this is needed okay and uh, data jpa why it is needed because we are going to demonstrate that how this jpa query by example is working so for that as we are going to use this data jpa so we need to use it into our project as dependencies uh, we need to for storing the data or doing some kinds of the queries we need to use some kind of the database so that maybe can be anything like in memory database if we want to want to use then h2 database is the best option otherwise we can use the mysql postgres oracle any database we can use only we need to defining certain properties in next once after adding in means after adding those dependencies once you clicked on the generate button then it will basically uh, come over here we need to import into your editor like whatever editor you are using i am using the eclipse editor so after importing that project it will be look like something like that okay so here now we need to create the other modules over here now here we need to create the create a domain entity class that will represent the table in your database so here i am going to create one class that is called the person so it will be uh, like here we are going to create some fields and it will be behaving as a like uh, entity so here i am going to keeping these fields like uh, this id annotation which will be look means it will be represent this id as the primary key and generated value here if we mention this one that means this particular value will be auto generated and we can use the entity annotation okay now as we need to create some of the getter and setter methods over here either we can create it manually or we can use the lombok annotation so already if you see the lombok dependency is already added into our into our project into our form file so we can easily use the getter and setter annotation instead of manually generate the getter setter so that this lombok actually remove the boilerplate code right so this is the advantage of it so that means domain object is created now now we need to create the repository which will basically extend the jpa repository to enable query by example for your entity without repository we are not able to talking with the database so here if you see that we have created the person repository where we have extend this jpa repository so that we can use this ex query by example for our entity as an entity we have created this person domain object okay so next we are going to create one controller and from their controller we are going to call means used that query by example that how it is working now here we are going to create one controller let's say create one class 
person controller so make it as a controller we need to use one annotation that is called the rest controller you must be aware of it this controller that rest controller okay so now here we are going to like uh, use this query by example so this actually for using this one what we are going to do first of all we need to create one instance that is called the person object and over there uh, entity class basically and we need to set some properties that if, if we means uh, based on that it will basically search the criteria so let me let me show you so here we are going to create one class let's say means api actually void search so search customer let's say okay so here first of all we need to create this object entity object like this example person and here we are going to set the first name is the john and the set age is the 30 correct so this is the basically criteria we are setting over here means whenever we are going to search data from the database it will basically search based on this data okay so that means what we are doing over here we are setting the data in the object and we are going to pass this object but if we are not going to use this query by example then we don't we need to manually pass this first name and the age in a query correct now if we want to use this example of so we need to create one example let me show you over here means building this example query so here if you see this example is coming from this data and domain dot example so here we need to create this example object over here okay even we can also create some matchers okay so let me show you some example of it this how this matcher is basically working okay okay so here if you see that example matcher where it was actually matching this like this with ignored null values it will basically if we mention this one then it will basically ignore the null values okay with ignore case it will basically ignore the case whatever the fields we are going to define over here that fields basically it will be ignoring and here we need to whatever the string we are going to uh, like uh, put over here or provide over here we need to send over here that actually meant means matching this string matcher containing some kind of the string and this particular matcher actually we need to pass over here pass here like this matcher okay so that means now what it will do it will basically fetch the data from the database based on this is the data and this is the matcher okay based on these two actually it will fetch the data from the database now like we need to ready this controller so here we need to provide the gate mapping because else we are not able to uh, it will be not look like a like uh, rest apis because rest apis obviously having this either gate mapping or post mapping or put mapping right here we need to pass this uh, instead of putting the hard coded over here like this first name and the age we can use this uh, as a request param we can't get this data like first name and the age and this first name we can set it over here like whatever the name we need to pass from the request param that we are going to pass it over here okay so that first name and age we are going to pass over here and then we have using this matcher and also passing this one now based on the repository we need to use the repository we need to inject that repository over here like this person repository and based on the repository we need to find the data over here like how we are going to find this one dot find all okay this one example this one we are going to use it over here and here we are going to pass this example what it will return it will return basically it will return the return type of this find all will be this uh, list of person okay or we can directly return from over here and the return type will be we just need to mention that list of person over here right so this is the thing in this way we can use this one so for checking how we are going to check we just need to like uh, start this application by run as java application okay and then we are going to it will start in a soon 
then initially like as we are going to use this h2 database so initially the data will be not there we just need to add some data into the database it will start soon once it will start then uh, if you see that h2 console available at this one h2 console so let it open yeah and we need to provide the password okay so now here if you see that this table basically got created this person right if we open initially it's don't have any data so we need to add some data like this and then test and then test okay so if we save this one then data got inserted now actually what we're going to do we just need to like uh, call this api and we need to provide this first name and age for checking this application that it is working or not so already we have started this application we just need to hit this api with this request param like first name and the age this parameter we need to pass from the url and this parameter actually basically set over here and then based on that it will return the data to us so here this is the url like this search and here we need to say send the first name and the age so now if we hit this one then if you see that it is returning this data only one data we are having in a database now say if we pass instead of 30 if it is 35 then it will not give us any data because in a database only we are having two data but now let's say we are having another data with this same name then it will return as the same data now if we trigger this one then we can get the data right so in this way basically this query by example actually worked here also we can like uh, add the paginations also over here uh, like with the if let's say the data is multiple so maybe sometimes we need to add the pagination so how you are going to add this one so for that we need to create one pageable object over here this one this pageable object okay okay so this pageable object page request of 0 to 10 sort by this last name or maybe first name or age anyone and then this pageable object we need to pass over here okay so in this way also we can add this one and it will return actually list it will basically return this page of person so here we need to use dot content get content so then it will return the list of object okay so now if we restart this application then we can see that it will take some time again actually data will be got refreshed in the each 2 database because it's a in-memory database again we need to store some data to for demonstrating demonstrating this one okay once it will start then we can open the jpa console h2 console over here here we need to give the password okay now here we need to again add some data 31 test test okay now we need to save save data and now if we search over here so it will not having any data with this 30 we can get data okay so in this way basically it will work that uh, uh, like uh, if you see that it is we are getting the returning and also we can add this pageable like uh, sorting kind of thing that is also got worked over here